eyewitness identification evidence is one of the least reliable forms of evidence that is presented in court in front of a jury. Um, and ironically, research has found that jurors consider it to be one of the most reliable forms of evidence. So when a jury hears an eyewitness point to a guy in court and say, that's the guy, I'll never forget his face, they find it especially compelling. Well, if it's not reliable evidence, but jurors find it to be very compelling, we've got a problem there, and it's a problem that psychologists can address. It's also true that in lots of eyewitness identification cases, identifications are not made until a long period of time afterwards. It's the rare situation where someone is caught, shown to the witness right away, the witness looks at the guy, says that's the guy, and then it's all done. Now that's dangerous because eyewitnesses are often pressed by police officers, you know, oh, just, just tell us, come on, you know, think about it really carefully. I think you probably saw that. We have reason to believe that you have that information. And under those circumstances, witnesses are more likely to yield inaccurate information. There have been a number of psychological studies lately, um, many of these are from my own lab actually, uh, looking at ways of interviewing witnesses that can yield more accurate information or inaccurate information. So for example, in a recent study we did, um, we had w uh, people pose as witnesses and observe a video and then afterwards we asked some questions about the video. Some of the questions were about information that was not in the videotape at all. And we had two conditions. In one condition, we pressed people to answer. We forced them to give an answer to every question, even if it was about information that they never saw. In the other condition, they could say, I don't know, whenever they wanted to. Well, the interesting thing is, what happens one week later when you interview people? Well, the witnesses pressed to, to give an answer to a question about which they really had never seen the relevant information one week later are recalling the information that they self-volunteered. I think that eyewitnesses actually are very reliable a lot of the time. There are under, cer you know, under certain circumstances eyewitnesses uh, got a good look at the person, uh, they're going to remember it afterwards, they're going to be able to make an identification. But in a case where a crime occurs very quickly, um, let's say it's dark, they're looking at something occurring from some distance away, um, there's distraction, like for example weapon focus, um, uh, those are the conditions under which eyewitnesses are least reliable. And in talking about that and educating the jurors about eyewitness memory, it can make them uh, better able to distinguish between correct and incorrect eyewitnesses.